on some orders right now. Um, I'm gonna start by making a groovy ghoul cup. I'm gonna start like weeding and everything and layering. But I wanted to quickly talk about some things with you guys to kind of um, give you guys an update on the last video, the whole copycat situation. So the business did reach out to me. They were very, you know, accommodating and um, apologetic about the situation. I really appreciate that they took the time to change some of their branding and, you know, take down some of those videos that were kind of scripted by mine or whatever. Um, so I really appreciated that. And almost immediately people found the business. I don't, I mean, I blocked out everything. I, I Maybe some people already knew it and then they just like commented it, but I don't know. Please, 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 please do not send hate to this person. I said it in the last video that that wasn't my intention and they don't deserve that. That's exactly why I blocked out the names and everything because that was not my intention at all. Um, as for the video, I don't know if I'm going to take it down yet. Um, I did consider it, but I wanted to leave it up for a couple different reasons. One, because like I mentioned in the video, I always want to be transparent and um, be honest about things that are going on with my business and, you know, kind of like the downsides of owning a business. I've from day one, I've shown, you know, kind of the ups and downs and I've talked about the, some things on here that I don't talk about on like you know tiktok or instagram just because here is like really where my small business community is and you guys follow me for my tutorials my hacks and all that stuff so i wanted to leave it up one for that and um you know as just like again like kind of documenting the stages of my business and what goes on not all things are going to be happy and so i really wanted to show that with you guys and two because I just don't know or trust that this won't happen again. I'm not talking about with other businesses. I know this will happen with other businesses, I'm sure. I mean, this is probably just a start, but with this one in particular, you know, there was already kind of a incident before where it was supposed to be resolved and it didn't end up being resolved. And, you know, then I got blocked and all that. So I just don't fully trust yet that this won't happen again. And I kind of want it on record that you know i did try to resolve this in case things have to escalate or whatever like i hope that's not the case because you know i see how efforts have been made to change that but as of now i kind of just want to leave it there just in case of anything um because what was going on was just you know not really okay i did apologize to this person as well for people sending them hate and everything because they didn't deserve that um and I am very truly sorry that that was a result of this. Regardless like of my intentions or not, people found it and I really did feel truly sorry for that. But I'm not sorry that I posted the video just because like I really had no other way of reaching out and I needed to speak out about, you know, what was going on. I think it's also important that people see like what not to do if that makes sense because again i have a lot of small businesses on here that follow me and i just wanted to be a learning lesson for everyone that was involved that like you know there's nothing more important and i left this in the caption as well there's nothing more important than just being your true authentic self and the borderlines and kind of like the difference between copying stealing and inspiration i feel like that is like super super important that's where i'm at with that and now I'm just going to finish up some cups and I've been getting a lot of questions asking how I make my cups and everything. So for example, I will be able to show you guys how I make my cups, but I will not be providing, for example, like the file for these or anything just because I made this myself. Anything that's like unique to my business or, um, you know, something that I made, I won't be able to share those files with you guys. I can show you kind of like you know, how I make them, how I layer them. Like, I don't mind that, but I just can't share with you the exact file that's mine, that's unique to my business, if that makes sense. So let me know in the comments down below if you care about that or not. Um, there are some designs that I do outsource from Etsy. And so if you see any um, designs, you know, that you think you might have saw on Etsy, I probably got them from Etsy. I'm gonna fix this and then I will catch up with you guys in a bit. Also, I wanna give you guys another update on the printer. Um, we're not gonna be able to do transfers today. I'm sorry, I know I've been wanting to like show you guys for such a long time now. And I wanna show you guys why I'm not ready to do transfers just yet. So for example, from afar, you might think this looks really good and like it does and everything. But first of all, this pink is supposed to be way brighter than what it is. Um, like if you see the file for it, it's like a bright pink and it comes out really dull. So again, I don't know if that's a user error. I really don't know. Um, I'm having a tough time with this printer. And then if you zoom in, I don't know if you guys can see that, but the camera is in focus. So if you can see, it's like 
coming out pretty blurry like i don't know it's like distorted same thing right here with the face like the camera's in focus so i don't know if you can see but like all right here like look at that black line for example look at that black line how it's like streaky and it's coming out really fuzzy and stuff so i still have to play around with it and i think it's an alignment issue this paper is printable htv and it comes in a big roll and it's pretty expensive so i'm trying to figure it out as quick as possible so i don't keep wasting paper but i'm not going to waste this one um i will wear this one i mean it's not too bad you can't like tell unless you zoom in you know so from far away it looks pretty good but yeah, that's why I'm trying to figure it out. You're gonna have to wait a little longer. I'm sorry. Lately, I've been packing orders like a couple at a time each day, if that makes sense. It actually helps a lot. So I'm gonna be doing that right now. But first, I quickly wanted to give you guys a little update. A lot of people have actually been asking about this on Instagram because it just like is now like a staple in my videos. Like I always have it right here next to all my like other pink stuff because I feel like it just adds so much. I've had these for over a month now. They look still absolutely gorgeous to me so i'm very very happy with these so these are from rose forever these are all real roses that are preserved and hand placed in these like bouquets so this is just beautiful craftsmanship these are preserved through a natural process of pigmentation using oils and they're actually allergy friendly which is a huge plus for me because i mentioned in my last video that i'm super super prone to crazy allergies and it's allergy season right now so huge huge plus there and another thing that i truly truly love is that all of the materials that are used for these are 100 percent vegan i chose my staple pink because you know like there was no question about it it was going to be pink but if you're not a pink lover they have a ton of different colors and styles to choose from so if you want to check them out you can use code noelle20 at checkout and you'll get 20 dollars off your order i'm gonna put that back so we can get to packing and just like look at that guys like it's just such a classy like beautiful piece of decor like it completes my office honestly but anyways, let's get to backing. I actually got bigger boxes for my cups now. So these are a little bit bigger than the, the last ones. Unfortunately, there is more room up here too. And it's kind of like wasted space. So maybe I can find one that's like this wide, but a little bit shorter. So that way it doesn't like, you know, have all that extra space there. But, you know, I'm still trying to figure it out. And then, like, I get some comments saying, like, why do you put, like, literal trash in there? Like, it's such a waste of paper, this and that. One, I don't take it too personally because I know these people are buying from Amazon literally every day and produce, like, thousands, hundreds, millions of more waste than I do. So it's not a big deal. But, like, just to give a little education to some people that might be thinking that, if I don't put something here, this is going to move. Like, I don't know if you can... I don't, and you guys don't want that like you didn't, you don't want that happening to your box i mean i'm being gentle i'm being gentle right now but they toss these like footballs you guys so if nothing is here you have way look at that like look how much it got unwrapped just because i've been shaking it around just picture that you know getting shipped to you it's not going to make it you have to have some padding there so that your package is secure when it gets to you so again i don't take these things too personally because you know it's very clear that you know these people don't know what they're talking about but that is why i do what i do i have to you know stuff the area there you go see the difference immediately like that's not going anywhere if you're a business owner don't listen to these people you know what is good for your business and what's going to make your customers happy i guarantee you they're going to be way happier seeing some recyclable recyclable craft paper than to see a broken glass okay if your package is not secure enough it will arrive completely shattered and guess who has to produce even more waste package it again another glass another poly mailer another box another tissue paper another craft paper to wrap it that produces twice as much waste than to just have package it correctly the first time so don't let those silly gooses get to you a little ghosty sticker someone said this looks like a pac-man and i can totally totally see it and now i can't stop seeing it so it's like a pac-man ghosty sticker put that there and there's no water Also, I just wanted to let you guys know that the pink bags that you see, I got some comments about them. You will not find these pink polymailers in my Amazon favorites. Actually, from a company called Giaro Pack. I actually purchased some off of Amazon that were very similar to this, um, but they were horrible. Like, I would literally stick the box in and the corners would tear the bag open. So, yeah, they were absolutely horrible. But these... 10 out of 10. I really, really love these poly mailers. These will be linked in the description for you guys. And if you use code Noelle Creates, you can get 10% off your order. So 
definitely check them out if you guys are in need of some good quality poly mailers that will not tear on you when you literally stick the box in the bag the first time. So. Also, you might be wondering why do I put the box in the bag? A couple different reasons. One, it's actually cheaper to ship a box in a poly mailer. Don't ask me how it makes sense. I don't know, but it's true. If you ship a box in a poly mailer, it's way cheaper. Um, two, I like to prevent any water damage, so especially because I put my thank you cards in there, so I really like to always secure it with a poly mailer. These ones in particular are actually pretty affordable, so it doesn't cost me much to just throw a bag on there. Extra protection, and again, you guys, these boxes are completely just like destroyed through the shipping process, so I always like to be extra safe than extra sorry, so that's why I do it. Thank you.